Hi, this is PC Roger, and in this short video, what I'm going to show you is my upgrade from this older Crucial M4 128 GB SSD, which stands for Solid State Drive, to this newer, larger 256 GB drive. Now, what we're going to do is leave the old 128 GB drive in the PC and use our Vantech USB hard drive adapter right here, which here's where we plug in the data cable and here's the, the power. We're just going to set this new Crucial 256 gig SSD on the table carefully and use that as a second drive on the machine and use some Acronis True, True Image cloning software to rather quickly clone the entire contents of a 128 gig drive onto the 256 with a larger partition. Now, you actually can repartition if you wanted to you know, divide that 256 gig drive into more than one partition, but that's not what we want. We're kind of running out of room on the 128 gig drive, not because we store any data on the workstation, because we store our data on servers, but we do have a lot of virtual machines that run and not a lot of data that changes, but those are rather large files. So we want some more room and the Crucial 256 drive was on, uh, on sale at Amazon, picked it up at a good price the other day, and I'll have a link to that uh, on my webpage. But here's what we're going to be uh, using and I'll Come back to you in just a minute when it's hooked up. Now here you can see that the SSD comes in just kind of a nondescript uh, box, a little bit of padding, and that's it. And it is kind of self-contained here, both top and bottom, it's all sealed up. Now we've plugged the power with the, uh, with the adapter for the serial ATA connection into the power source, and there's a little switch on the cord, we've got that turned on. And we have our serial ATA or SATA uh, data cable hooked up here. And then what we did is well, since this is an ASUS motherboard, we tapped the F8 key, function 8 key, while it was uh, being powered on to get a boot selection. And you can see here we've got a floppy drive, and you can tell here that we have a, an M4 CT128 SSD, and that's telling us that's our 128 gigabyte Crucial M4 drive, and then our CD-ROM. What we're going to do is we're going to boot from the CD-ROM here so that we can have the Acronis True Image software take control and do the cloning for us. Now here you can see the Acronis True Image uh, screen. We had the options to back up, manage and restore, or clone the disk at the bottom. And I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little bit on that. It's not ideal trying to do videos of screens this way, but hopefully you can kind of see that. And on the next screen you have the option to do this automatically, and it says recommended or manual. Quite honestly, I've just never had the guts to do the automatic. I like to see what's going on and know what's going to happen. Uh, for sure before it uh, does happen. And I would like to emphasize that I wouldn't want to try this without having a good backup of any data I needed on that older 128 gig drive, simply because you're moving machine around, you're hooking things up, you never know what can happen, and you just don't want to be making any changes without a good backup. Now after selecting the source disk and the destination disk, which you can do you know, by size, you come to the screen where under the manual method it's giving me, and I hope you can see that, you can, you can actually uh, handle the partitions in an as-is basis, which means that the new drive would have the same size partition as the old drive and then empty space to create additional partitions on, or proportional, which is what we want, where 100% of the drive before was the C drive partition, 100% of the new drive will be C, or manual. Hopefully you can uh, see this there at the bottom where it's showing the destination drive, 235 or 38.5 gigabytes unallocated, and that's because of overhead and so forth. It doesn't show you know, the full 256. And then after it shows it a little less than half full. And that's just kind of a confirmation of what's gonna to happen to that target disk. And this is the, the part that I always like to see to make sure I know exactly what's gonna happen. Now as it's doing the cloning process, it will show you, you know, how far along it is. And there's even an optional checkbox at the bottom to shut down the computer after the completion of the clone. That way you can just uh, get it started and just walk away and it's not going to be running for that whole time then. So that's really all there is to show you with this video. I just want to make it, uh, I guess, clear how easy it is to upgrade, whether you're going from a, a standard serial ATA drive to an SSD or to uh, from an SSD to a larger SSD. I do recommend two things. One is that uh, you do buy a quality solid state drive. It will dramatically improve the performance of your PC if you've been using a standard hard drive before and that you use cloning software to make it easy. Uh, we use Acronis True Image. Every once in a while you can come across a drive that you like uh, that has maybe a, a desktop upgrade kit that might have actually a little uh, temporary housing to put the SSD in as you're doing the upgrade. 
as well as some Acronis True Image software, kind of a limited version built in there and only charge about 10 or $15 more for the drive. If you go to my website, pcroger.com, I've got a blog post there that I will direct you to. Just click the description and the link to this video and I'll have links for all these things to make it hopefully easy for you to find. Please leave a comment on the video and like it if you like it and uh, head over to our website, pcroger.com and, and share that post there if it's helpful as well. I'm available on my support forum, it's free. There's a link on the website and you can ask questions there as well. Asking questions on the support forum actually works a lot better than on YouTube because I can give you links in the answers where I cannot do that on YouTube. So thanks for watching and we'll see you at the website.